Welcome to another episode of Wrath Mechanic. And today is gonna be really exciting because we're gonna get to the next waypoint. So let's turn on our sails and wait, I guess. I also just noticed that I somehow lost my hammock, so I should probably not die. And I was just thinking maybe the normal bed is cheaper, but it costs 20 cotton. Yeah, I guess farming cotton is um, kind of my next priority. In the meantime, we also pushed not one, but two updates to the Wrath mod. So if I'm lucky, we're gonna find new things in the ocean. And also glow sticks are a lot brighter now, so that's really useful when it's dark. We're closing in on the island faster than I expected, and I think I can see a chemical plant in the distance. So perhaps I can just hook up my vacuum pump and pump some chemicals. Oh yeah, I think the fishing time is now a little faster, which is kind of useful if the boat is moving that fast. If I have too much free time on my hands, or I find a modder who does the work, I'm also thinking of overhauling the whole fishing system with baits and stuff, and I'm not really good at fishing right now. Oh god, there's another shark already. Am I, am I raft shark bounds working? I think so. They're really effective at defending. I've also seen someone use a really cool idea uh, for the collector. I can hear stuff breaking. Oh no, stop it, shark. But yeah, I've been thinking I could use bearings to angle the whole collector, which should push the scrap towards the center, so I don't have to walk out to get all of it. And I could probably also put sensors on here, so in case I would collide with something, they could just automatically like move to prevent collision which would be really cool and then we could build some kind of speedboat just to cruise over the ocean and collect all the junk team c style oh i just got fertilizer from fishing this is gonna help me a lot to grow the resources for the hammock here yeah, since i updated the mod we can now actually use the makeshift antenna we crafted before so it actually now displays a beacon and yeah we can even control it in the logbook that is so cool so yeah, in case I would die, I can just swim all the way from the spawn of the map over to my raft. I got another mannequin boot. What am I gonna do with them? Maybe I can... Oh, they actually have pretty good durability. I can totally see how I'm just gonna surround my raft in junk. So the sharks don't destroy important stuff. Just got even more fertilizer. This is great. Fishing is really worth it in this mod. So I think the tile over here is next to two chemical plants. So you can see it's getting quite dark now, but if I hold a glow stick, oh, this is so bright. And now we could actually, you know, see stuff underwater in the dark. Now, if I were to throw the thing, I didn't modify it, so it's not that bright. Oh, there's actually another glow bug. So maybe I can keep two glow bugs? I don't know. Like, I think I should honestly craft more chests, cause my inventory is kind of a mess. Now, to get more chests, I'm just gonna need more glue and... Oh god, I only have one glow stick left. I accidentally pressed the wrong button. Yeah, I think today we're gonna massively redesign the entire raft. So it kind of comes in handy that there's a chemical plant over there. Ah, and our trees are finally done as well. So yeah, that's gonna consume a lot of water to keep these tree farms going. But yeah, they make so much wood, it's incredible. And we're gonna need a lot of it to craft more raft bases. All right, we're getting pretty close to the shore. And there's gonna be so many resources on that island. Okay, so I think I'm first just gonna transfer the glow bugs and most importantly, clam diving. And I gotta make sure I don't confuse these glow bugs. So I'm gonna put them next to the water bottle and we'll just take the entire raft on land because that's gonna be much safer. All right, I guess it's time to explore the island. So last time we found the wreck of a ship that apparently belongs to the trader. And if we're lucky, he might still be alive. So yeah, I can already see the chemicals from over here. That means we can probably make a lot of easy plastic. There's so many trees on this island. We can get a lot of wood too. So yeah, we're gonna have a mega raft expansion today, I think. Right now, oh, this looks pretty familiar. Well, so let's see if someone's still in there and looks like yeah it's just the trader from normal survival but first of all i'm just gonna snack all these seeds i mean it's free real estate yeah now once we interact with the trader you can see there's a lot of stuff in shed so first we've unlocked the propeller now this is gonna be huge for our raft because the sails are not the strongest but yeah let's see what the trader had to say hmm therefore are you you are alive i'm glad to see another soul hmm uh, I think I know of a way we can uh, escape this planet. If you could bring Bertha uh, me some packed veggies, that would be great. 
<laughs> I, I marked the nearby packing station for you. Pack two crates each of carrots and red beets. Then you can bring them over to Big Ol' Bertha, uh, the big pump over there. <laughs> yeah, I, I think he's been here for a little too long. I mean, he got a really weird beard. And I can't see his eyes at all. This is He looks super weird, actually. Anyway, but if we're lucky, he actually knows a way we can escape this planet. So I guess our next step is gonna be to deliver some uh, vegetables over to Bertha. Yeah, and as you can already see, if I up reset the waypoint, uh, we now need to go to a packing station. And you know, fruit crates are really heavy, so we're really gonna need the propellers to move them. And the funny thing is, I've never done this before, like actually moving crates on a raft. So it's gonna be fun, but first, We'll have to work a little on our raft. So one thing I want to do is craft the saw blade, for which we're going to need some metal blocks too. And yep, we still have them from the vacuum pump, I think. Now this will allow us to cut the really big trees. And the reason why I want to do this is because we can use their seeds to grow bigger trees in our tree farms, which use less water. So they're basically the most efficient seeds. Now actually it might be worth to start building a car for islands because at one point we'll also need to get the crates from the shore all the way to the vacuum pump. So I think all I need to do to actually get the seeds is to just... Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna need two bearings. <laughs> right, I think this is working. I gotta be careful to not cut myself with the saw. But yeah, the tree's taking damage, so... Okay, I can't actually tell if this works. I mean, I can definitely hear the sounds. Like, it should work, but... Well, we're gonna need an engine for the propellers anyway. Now, this is gonna require a bunch of circuit boards, which we can craft from glue and scrap metal, though. So that's actually quite useful. Man, the glow stick is so useful. <laughs> like, I can actually see something at night now. And yeah, I'm probably also gonna try to make it so if you sleep in the hammock, it's gonna turn to daytime. But I'm not exactly sure how I'm gonna mod this into the game, but it would be really cool if I find a way. I mean, I still don't understand. It should just work, just with the hammer. Yeah, I've just... Okay, this is... I can see lot... Yes, it worked! Okay, we're gonna need the other stuff later anyway. Did it, did it work yet? I think it fell in a really bad spot. And yeah, I can't cut any of the parts unless I have... Oh god, I'm not sure if this was a good idea. I just want the seats. Speaking of the hammock, we can finally craft another one, which is really good in case I die. I think you just need to get the position exactly right for this to work. Yeah, this is gonna consume a lot of water, but... Speaking of water consumption, am I lucky? No seats! Great! I mean, okay, technically they're called saplings, but it's pretty close. Okay, and once I have a couple of these saplings, we can uh, work on a little speedboat to collect some ocean junk. Yeah, the direction the trees fall into is random, by the way. It's also random the amount of seats we get from this. This reminds me that I never actually tested if this works. Yes, I think I'm actually lucky. Oh my god. Two saplings, that's perfect. But yeah, these should be the best saplings in the game. <laughs> now I've just made myself another challenge. Once I actually have a car and I want to drive up here, now there's just a fallen tree. It was not the smartest idea, to be honest. But yeah, that's just a problem for Al later. Oh, I can also just put the saw blade uh, below the thing, which is a lot easier to build. Wow, I think I, I actually managed to get the entire saw stuck in this tree. Wow. Like, I'm literally slamming it right into the tree, but the game doesn't recognize it. Well, I gave up. I think two seats are enough for now. And yeah, our trees are just done now, so we can already start planting them. And you see, we get 150 wood blocks. But it also takes 45 minutes to grow. Oh yeah, and also six water, by the way, which seems like a lot, but it's actually the most water-efficient trees. All right, to work on our speedboat, we're gonna need the engine, I think. That's what I made all these uh, circuit boards for. And then I'm also gonna need the, you know, actual propeller. But you just craft them from metal, so that's not really much of an issue. And I think this is now just gonna be my kind of base. Or oh, you could also build really amazing houseboats with this mod. That would be really cool. Yeah, I'm gonna start by building an entirely new raft. And of course, all of these blueberry containers need to be rotated the same way. This is really important, you know? Okay, and I'm gonna put two bearings here. How big do I wanna build this? Yeah, honestly, this should be fine. Okay, one of the propellers is already done, so you can have a little look at it. I mean, I think it looks really cool, and yeah, I think the model is the blades are rotated the wrong way or something. But, but just ignore that, we'll probably fix it at some point, I guess. Okay, I just left the engine on here. I'm gonna need a driver's... I just spent all my cotton on the hammock, which 
Where's my hammock? Oh, yeah, I just crafted it. Okay, I see. Ah, oh. This is a really weird rotation set. Anyway, time to set our spawn point again. This, this is not very secure, but I don't think I'm gonna put this into the water soon. Now I'm just gonna need to grow cotton and grow it fast. But yeah, this is... Well, I guess we can work on the other stuff in the meantime. Because, yeah, I would like some bearings and sensors, preferably as well. I guess I'll just start grinding some resources because we're gonna need a lot. No, the forest isn't burning. It's just my good old draft. This is actually kind of useful. As long as stuff burns, I know I don't need to restart the water purifiers because, you know, mining takes a lot of water. Yeah, once the game starts to become very laggy, you know, you've mined a lot. Yeah, so I'll probably just um place these things down. Well, I just kind of realized that I'm gonna need like two separate gas engines. So yeah, that's gonna be fun. At least the grind is real in this mod as well, which I mean fits pretty well the raft experience. Like even more so the scrap mechanic one. Oh yeah, I also should really start growing red beets and carrots cause we're gonna need them for the next quest. So I should probably uh, up my farming skills, get more water purifiers, build a really big base raft, but one thing at a time. Yep, that was plenty of metal. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna use the small propellers because they should probably provide enough thrust because if I go too fast with the collectors, all of the scrap is just gonna, I don't know where it's gonna end up. Yeah, then we're also gonna need a bunch of logic, which requires even more glue. Yeah, but I'm really starting to like clam diving now. Like he's not doing much, but at least he provides me company. Yeah, you see the, the difference is quite um noticeable in size. I should probably also feed uh, clam diving with my remaining cardboard blocks. Hopefully we can get some uh, glow poo. But I think the counter resets when you pick him up, so I did that way too often. <laughs> and yeah, we're gonna need some more plastic, which means I should um get my vacuum pump to suck up the chemicals over there, then I'll just get some oil. Yeah, I should probably pick up a little bit of stone to make more sand. Right, so as soon as I pick up all of these circuit boards, I can make the chemical container. So I think I'm just gonna pick up my vacuum pump setup. Right, and then I can just swim over to the chemical pond. If I'm lucky, there's even some bots nearby or some loot. Or perhaps even some bee swags. Oh, there's one crate. Yeah, there's so many in the ocean. Oh, fertil fertilizer and component kit. That's really good. But yeah, I've not seen any bots so far. It's really strange. Usually there's like quite a lot on islands and stuff. But yeah, let's just collect this uh, bee swags over here. Dude, I'm just gonna be careful placing down the pump without, you know, dipping my toes into chemicals. Okay, now the super complicated logic. I filled entire arcade machines in this game, but yeah, this is pretty much nothing in comparison. And there we go. We've got unlimited chemicals now. Yeah, I'll just let that pump in the background. In the meantime, I can just uh, clean my inventory, hop into the ocean, probably wait until it's daytime and collect a bunch of oil, which means we get a bunch of plastic, which means we can make a bunch of circuit boards, which means we can make all the resources we need for the amazing speed collector boat. Oh, you can even see oil in the dark because of the black smoke that's coming out of the oil guy's ears, which is really convenient. Okay, the cotton's also done now. Oh, I just need to be careful I don't um, collide with any sharks. Man, this is quite a deep cave. So we can... Oh, yeah. Oh, there's a shark. There's two sharks. Okay. But there's also really good loot. I just gotta get this one. A garment box. That's bad. But a bearing and a banana is really good. Oh, they're both pancake. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, God. I've only got... Oh, no, 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 no. They each deal... 40 damage, so two of them, just three hits and I'm dead. This is really scary. Okay, um, they are still chasing me. It's like even scary at night because you don't really see them coming. And yeah, okay, I'm gonna get hurt a lot, I think. Oh, 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 yeah, I saw that shark coming. Yeah, there's so much oil in the ocean. It's really not an issue grinding that. And if you wanted to get real fancy, you could build a submarine and just use vacuum pumps to suck up the oil, I think, which would be really interesting. Maybe I'll do that at some point. Okay, so there's another cave. I think I'm feeling adventurous today. So there's probably gonna be sharks inside. Uh, yeah, I saw its shadow. This is so dangerous. Why am I? There's two shark. Okay. Um, there's just normal loot. If it was rare loot, I might have gotten down there, but I don't think that's worth it. Well, as you can see, I filled my entire inventory with the fanciest underwater resources. So that should last quite a while. Oh god, I have so much stuff. But yeah, the garment box, I can use that for a uh, wrath protection as well. Alright, looks like we've got a full container of chemicals. God, that's gonna be so much plastic. Oh, there's a char- how did the chart get here? 
Where's my spear? I just dropped my spear. That's not really helpful. Oh, my, my glue clamps already respawned. I think I've been staying at this uh, island for quite a while. Oh my god. Yeah, that's gonna be so much plastic. Okay, I think I should really just make another wave bench. Although it takes quite a lot of wood. And yeah, I'm slowly running out of wood. And uh, that probably means I'll have to cut some trees here. Which is uh, fun. But yeah, now we should have everything to make a driver's seat or saddle. Yeah, because the raft base is even whiffed, we're gonna need an 10 cotton. And the saddle is... Oh, why is symmetry so expensive? All right, then I'm not gonna grow five extra cotton. I'm way too lazy for that. Instead, I'm just gonna make use of the abundant plastic blocks we have now. Wait, actually, I think if I just put stripes everywhere, it's actually gonna look really cool. I forgot that I don't have the well tool yet, so that's fun. Well, now it's a little wider, but I don't know. It looks actually pretty cool with the plastic blocks in between. And they're also gonna be better protection against sharks in case they should, you know, annoy me. Oh god, our tall trees are done already. Dude, that's so much wood. I was just about to manually cut some trees, but I guess I don't have to do that anymore. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, I don't need to worry about the symmetry of the engines because... I need two of them anyway, which is really effective, I know. Now, later we unlock the WASD converter, which we don't have now, so I think we'll just have to do with two sensors. Oh, wait, I'm not gonna need a sensor, I'm just gonna need two buttons. All right, so the logic is as follow. I'm gonna have one and two. If I press them at the same time, I'm gonna go forwards. If I only press one of the buttons, I'm gonna turn the speedboat thing. So technically, this should already be drivable. I guess I'm just gonna need to pick up some gasoline and yeah we definitely want one headlight at least on the thing so i might just steal it from my uh, main raft all right uh, of course it floats that's what the raft bases are for uh, i'll just put one gasoline in each then i'll press button one and two we're actually moving and i mean the steering works it's just i expected it, the buttons to be the other way around and she and i was fixed Okay, I probably should stop when I uh, want to turn, but yeah, this works pretty well. Oh yeah, you can really see how well the headlight is working. It does a really good job at lighting up the ocean junk, so this is actually gonna be really cool. Okay, I think the propeller should be a little uh, further apart. It would make the steering a lot nicer, but it should be fine for now. And yeah, they are really noisy, the propellers. I think if stuff spins too fast that just kind of tends to happen it's not perfect controls yet but it's a good start so next i should work on the collector now for this i'm gonna need a whole new controller yeah i think i'm gonna steal the other headlight too because this is working way too well actually i can place the lights at the collector itself which should technically increase the range i'm just gonna need more bearings and that means i'll have to upgrade the controller but that won't be a problem since we have a lot of component kits it's so unusual having so many component kits honestly right so i'll just place down two bearings then i'm oh, actually this would not be deep enough which okay this looks really ugly but no i'm also gonna, yeah i'm gonna need a little bit more space to like collect the junk into i mean this is more of a utility vehicle anyway so i don't think the looks are most important all right now it's just uh, some long collector sitting on some floppy bearings but yep the, the controller level one can really just do one connection at least upgrading is not that expensive but yeah this looks really interesting this should work quite well i think and can't wait to try this out this is not what i expected when i started playing with the mod and as long as we have gasoline i don't see why this should not work yeah, let's place my headlights directly where the shark would eat them. Because if I upgrade the controller once more, yep, that should give us a really good range. Okay, once I have a WASD converter, this is gonna be a lot more fun to um, drive around with, but this is not bad. Okay, honestly, I would really like to build the collector even bigger. On land, this looked really big, but okay, I, I would have hoped that the angled collector would push the items towards the middle which i guess kind of seems to work so that's not that bad yeah for my taste this could be a little bit faster so let's see if that would work yeah i think yeah the uh, gas engines have fixed maximum speed so oh we even found some sunshake nice. nice yeah i think this can use a few improvements if you have any ideas leave them in the comments because this could get really powerful once it's fast it has a big collector because yeah i kind of underestimate that the grind it took to build this thing but yeah i think this gives us a good taste of what is possible with why is my propeller smoking a good taste of what we're gonna be able to build here in the future because i think next episode i'm gonna improve my base raft and make it really a big huge 
floating base, which is gonna be exciting. And then we can have these smaller vehicles welded onto the sides or something. I'm not sure how I'm gonna build it. I guess we'll find out, so I hope to see you then.